Hi everybody, we are Teaching Tilt Brush, and this lesson is about the Mirror Tool, a very useful and fun tool for making very creative stuff. Now this is a fun one. It is a toggle, meaning when I turn it on, here's that mirror. The only way to get rid of it is to use that same button to turn it off again. When you turn it on and off, it will stay in the same place, so you can sort of disable it and hide it so you can see how it looks, and then put it back again when you're ready to draw more. You may have noticed there's a little firefly over there connected to my mouse. This mirror, I'm going to grab it. If you put your hand in it and grab, you can move this mirror around. I'm going to put it so it's straight at the camera. So that little green on this side is the mirror image of my mouse. And as I draw, it just does a perfect mirror on the other side. So this is how a lot of people will do faces and things so that I can have a nose and mouth and stuff like that that stays nice and even and natural on both sides. The mirror is part of the scene like a guide. So if I move and resize, you can see how the mirror moves and resizes with it. So this mirror tool is a great way to get a lot of stuff happening. Now it is just two sides. So if I draw over here, you can see how it draws the same thing on the other side. Here's an example where I will now turn the mirror off. So I can just draw a single thing, like a flower in her hair or something like that. And when I turn it back on, the mirror is still in the same place. So now I can add more details and things, and it will be fully mirrored on both sides. The mirror can only have one at a time. So if I wanted to do a top and bottom mirror at the same time as a left and right, it can't really do that. I would need to grab this mirror, move it. Now I can do up and down mirroring. If you go past the mirror, it will indeed keep going up the other side. So we can do some really interesting stuff to make these symmetrical patterns using this tool. Mirror tool. We can pick it up and move it around and it will stay part of the scene. So if I now move far away, you can see the mirror is far away, but it's still active. I'm going to rotate a bit so when I paint up here, if you look in the distance, you can see it is still mirroring farther away. I may need to do a brighter one. I can't really tell how well you guys can see it. But if I do a big one, you can see in the background over there where the mirror effect is still happening. One of the interesting tools they added, because the mirror could end up far away, mirror tool is one of the ones where you can hold the button down a long pause to give you these two options. With the mirror tool, the option summon mirror brings the mirror back to you. Work me here. There we go. So if I've got the mirror placed very far away, I don't have to go back to get it. Summon mirror brings it right to you. There we go, mirror tool. Now, as I was mentioning, you need to turn it on and off from here. You can't, like a guy, just grab it and throw away. Watch what happens when you try. When you grab a mirror and throw it, it starts spinning. And it will stay spinning forever. If I start painting while it is spinning, you can see how the mirror is drawing these crazy lines as the mirror spins. Undo! Okay. Stop! So if you're careful, we can spin it on an axis and start drawing stuff based on that spinning motion. Spin it this way. And I'm not moving the controller, it's the mirror's action that's making the pattern. Grab. So depending on how much practice you get with it, I can actually start doing interesting spherical shapes and stuff based on the spinning action of the mirror. 
There's my little shell. Grab the mirror. It is spherical because the mirror was spinning all around it, almost a beehive. So that's the mirror tool. We can spin it and have fun, or we can just hold it steady so we can make a shape that is fully mirrored on both sides of this mirror. Turn it off, and all we're left with is the final result. So that's the mirror tool. It's all about making shapes and symmetrical objects. So I can bring it up, position it where I want, and draw faces, draw all sorts of stuff, and it will be duplicated on both sides. I actually use this for doing archways and stuff like that. Anything you want symmetrical, we've got the mirror tool, mirror tool to help you out. Play with this one, practice with this one, especially if you like spinning it. It can take a lot of different ways before it actually looks right. So do play with it, do try it, have fun with it. This is one of the more interesting tools that works with any version of Tilt Brush, the mirror tool. I hope you like this one. Feel free to play around with it and let us know in the notes if you have questions or if you come up with a really cool sketch, we'd love to see it. Here's my mirrored word of subscribe and hopefully you guys will and we'll see you in other episodes. Have fun and enjoy your Tilt Brush.